Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Let's walk around Stockholm. Another day, another walk, you know it. It is Wednesday the 26th of October, I believe. Around 9.30 in the morning. And we're back at it, walk 510. And you're probably thinking, Daniel, where are we? Well, you probably know where we are because it's probably in the description of the video. But anyways, we are in Tantolunden. Tantolunden, which is a park on Södermalm. It is probably the biggest park of Södermalm as well. I did not look that up, but I think so because it's massive. And it's located kind of between Zinkensdam and Hornstuhl. Um, yeah, so there's a lot going on in this park. I would say, especially during the summer, is the most popular park um, on Söder in the city in general. So as you can see here, it's like squeezed in between Södra Stagoon and Meerbogge Platsen on that side and Skanstuhl Zinkensdam. You could actually say it connects all the stations on Södermalm with each other. Um, so yeah, what's happening in uh, Tante Lunden? Well, first of all, there's a massive uh, place for allotment gardens. Um, we have Orsta Viken on that side, um, which is the name of the water. Um, you know, there's a lot of activities. There's an outdoor gym. There is a beach, Tanto Beach. Um, you know, there's, there's bars, there's restaurants and a lot of activities during the summer, but I don't know what's happening actually in the autumn. Probably not that much, but it still looks really nice and lovely. With all the leaves, you know, falling. So let's check out what the vibe is here in, uh, in the autumn. It's a bit windy and a bit wet, but as I said yesterday, on yesterday's walk, it's actually not so cold at all. Not for being almost November in Stockholm, like traditionally it should be almost snowing right now, right? Um, but yeah, those days are over, as it seems. Um, so let's actually have a look down here, because here you can already see allotment gardens. Some of it, because it's really big here. But this is the first patch. But yeah, it's the end of the season, so there's not much activity here either. Hey! You see all the apartments on the back here. They have a really good läge, as we say in Swedish. A great location. And there's a few hills here as well in Tante Lunden. This is one of them where it goes up. And um, yeah, let's check it out. Let's see if we can go into um, like more into the area of the allotment gardens. I don't know if that's private property or not. I'm not sure, to be honest. We'll find out soon. This is called Alfred Medin's Weg. And if I'm not mistaken, Alfred Medin was the person that created Tante Lunden. So I don't know which part was first, if this was, it was first the allotment gardens or first more of a general park. Not really sure, but um, yeah. Anyway, it's, I think, I believe it's more than 100 years old. So it here says Tanto Norra. So basically means the north side of Tanto which uh, is short for Tante Lunden, Koloni Trägårdsförening, which means allotment, garden, uh, förening, uh, organization, kind of. Oh, here it says, Welcome to Tante Nora allotment area. The society Tante Nora allotment area was established in 1919 and has 93 uh, plots. So as you can understand, it's not easy to get one here. So once you have one, you stick to it. Still looks pretty nice. There's still some flowers here, these purple ones. 
as I said, it's pretty warm for Stockholm, so there's no frost yet. So, you know, once the frost hits the ground, it basically all dies, but um, yeah, surprisingly, there's still some color. The other day, I still saw a sunflower. I was like, wait, what? It's almost November, sunflower. Thank you, global warming. Pretty cool sight with the apartments there at the back. Does someone know what these are called in English? I always keep forgetting. I looked it up once. But so yeah, there's different sections. Um, where am I going? Oh, let's go straight in. So there's different sections. So this is Norda and there's also more that way towards the water. There's um, different areas of allotment gardens. Um, I think that has a different name. It's maybe not even part of Tanto Lunden officially because it's um, more towards Kanstul. Ooh, little bird. Oh, these ones have quite big plots, actually. Nice and peaceful. See, that's what I mean. Sunflower still standing. So, how's everyone doing? In the chat gang. Felt like we had a nice little atmosphere yesterday in the chat, so I hope it will be the same today. Sometimes I actually can't make my own premieres, but yesterday I was there, so it's nice. I always try to be there for the community spirit, right? It's fun to meet everyone. Maybe it's a dead end here, I'm not even sure. So it feels like I'm going up on the hill there, see? Because the main road is down there. I remember the last time I was in Tante Lunden here. Oh, I can I can go down, okay. Um, I got stuck on the hill. So let's see how it goes today. And I had to climb down. <laughs> that was fun. I just want to check out the view on this side as well. Or... Even better, let's go up here. Oh, oh let's not fall over, Daniel. Be careful. This is a great area for walking your dog. Oh, I'm so going to get stuck again here. It's going to happen. Either I'm going to fall or I'm going to get stuck. So what's over here? Some kind of dog area, maybe? Oh, yeah, it is. It's a dog uh, walking area. Okay, so I'm not going to do the same mistake as I did last time I was here and going all the way up there because I'll get stuck. But you have a great view here of Sodomon. Check this out. Nice, nice. So I'll go back there and then I'll take the left. Because otherwise with this wet weather it's going to be a nightmare. Because me trying to go down the hill for 20 minutes, that's not really what you want to see on well, Let's Walk Around Stockholm. Or may maybe you do, I don't know. Maybe it's entertaining. <sighs> oh, careful. So slippery. Oh yeah, getting there, getting there.
Yeah, almost made the same mistake as I did last year. Yeah, I got out. Perfect. So, let's see where this goes. Is this going down at all or there's some more climbing? I like the look of this. All different colors, yellow, green, orange. Okay. Um, hey, wait a second. Can you go down here? Can I? Maybe not. Private property, I think. Always try to respect people's, um, you know, little area here. Oh, this is like a, for insects. Like an insect hotel, I would say. To thrive. You can see the church tower over there. So nice if you have this one here in the corner looking all over Sodomon. See the seasons changing. So lovely. Oh great, did it get stuck again? Of course I did. Oh yes, it's gonna be climbing anyway. Oh I knew this was gonna happen. Do -do 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 -do. Well, at least there's no ice. Then it would have been way worse. It's so funny. I think I ended up now exactly where I did last year. Oh, yeah. Climbing. Let's go. Funny, funny, funny. All right. <sighs> Yeah, made it. So still alive. I was like, yeah, let's not go climbing. Two minutes later, yeah, let's go climbing. Yeah. So, the question is, do I get out here or not? Yes, I do. So, I actually almost think I got worse stock than I did last year. Ah, well. So yes, for your information, my bum is completely wet. But hey, everything for the channel. So, let's have a look, where are we?
Cool, 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 cool. So here we've got the football pitch. Check it out. I think there we've got a school. Oh, I'm so wet. So, eh. Oh, that looks fun. A park for children to play at. Lovely. That looks like it's like kind of artwork, but also a playground. See over there. Oh, now I feel cold because I'm all wet. Ugh. Yuck. See, it's really cool with this, uh, it's like a snake or a dragon or whatever it is. Yeah, not a big fan of this. As I usually say with, <laughs> with, with arty things. Oh, a sunflower. So yeah, I was up there. No, I think last year I got stuck up there and now I got stuck up there. It looks like there's this another little allotment area here. That's good, I got a washing time today, four o'clock, so. Microliv. A hand for you would live a few million bacteria, millions of swamps, and thousands of small crops. It basically says if you take one handful of earth, there's so many billions of back, like organisms or bacteria, bacteria and and fungus and things like that living in in just a small area. And believe it or not, we have a full growing sunflower over there. Let's go and check it out. That's crazy. How did they keep this alive? Here, look. Look, look, look. This should not be possible in Sweden in almost November. Hey, look, it's looking really healthy. Hmm. Oh, I like this. This is nice. Right, so now we're getting uh, more towards the water. Um, I think they're sowing some new grass here or whatever they do, I'm not sure. Some compost. That's a very natural area. I like it how they, it's the middle of the city, but they still keep it like natural and messy. Looks good. So yeah, in the summer it's full with people here, barbecuing, partying, you know, drinking. There's always a very great uh, atmosphere here. So this is the part of Tante Lund, and when people say, oh, let's meet in Tanto, they, they meet here on the grass. And it's full with people. If you go back in my channel, I have a summer like swimming type of video here. Um, so yeah. I actually went swimming with Olaf there in the summer, that was fun. By the way, I'm meeting Olaf tomorrow. So Hundstuhl station is over there, but let's... Yeah, let's go this way. Let's cross the grass. We got the outdoor gym over there. Oh, I'm all wet in my shoes as well. Always humming. 
I never noticed I was humming a lot until I started this channel and I was starting to listen to my own videos. I was like, Daniel, what are you doing, man? Hornwijk's Stegen, this is called. For the map people, I know who you are. Yes, so Hornstuhl, it says that way. It's actually that way, so I don't know. Erikzals Bar, that is the swimming pool, it's Kanstuhl that way. Meerburger Platzen and Longholmen, Liljeholmen. Oh, look at these flowers here. Nice. So many colors. Looks lovely. I like that. Very nice. Oh, this one has one on like ground level. And really big as well. Nice. Here we've got the mini golf or barn golf as it's called in Swedish, like a lane golf or something like that. But yeah, it's not really mini golf season, is it? We call it midget golf in Holland, but yeah, that's not really political correct, is it? You're not supposed to say that anymore, but everyone still does. Yeah, I understand it's not really a, a nice thing to say. Hey, they installed new toilets here. I don't think I've seen these ones before. They look brand new. Nice. I, for change, do not have to pee. I, <laughs> I usually have to pee when I'm walking, but not today. So yeah, so this is Tanto Beach here. This is where people go swimming in the summer. It doesn't look much right now, but... I just realized I hardly have had any people on my walk today. Look at those towers on the other side. I never looked at, at them properly, but... Oh, that's actually fun. Well, okay, let's walk to the beach and let's check it out. Here. They actually have like a little climbing wall up there. See that? On the pier? That's fun. So you can climb, like get it like over there. You can get out of the water, climb, and then maybe jump in, back in. All right. I think that was almost it today. Tante London walk. See there's some more allotments here. Nice and peaceful. So folks, it's almost time for me to go home again. From Sodomon. This is a nice view to wrap it up. Thank you for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. I give you a thumbs up. Please leave a thumbs up on the video as well. And I see you all tomorrow on a new adventure. Bye bye.